Hello, hello everybody and welcome to another video on Affinity. Fourth time is the charm. I don't know what's happening here, but my microphone keeps dying and I don't know if it's software or hardware, but I'll need to investigate. So, so before we start this video, first of all, my neighbors are renovating the house so you can hear some uh, some noise in the background hopefully the microphone will not capture that much and second and I think the best news is that affinity has a 50% off affinity designer publisher affinity photo and of course uh, everything from their library so if you want to purchase an additional software now is the chance to buy it 50% off. So let's get back to our video. This time we are going to correct the exposure of some images in Affinity Photo and Affinity Develop Persona as well. So let me close this one and I'll go quickly through the images. First of all, we, we will have a JPEG. This is an image, this is a picture that I took in Portugal. You can see that I have some dust spots here. Let's remove this one first and after that we go to the exposure. So in order to remove them, you have in your toolbar, you have the in paintbrush tool. I'm going to use this one. You can activate it by hitting J on your keyboard and let's i zoom in so you can see how good this tool is we have here another one here another one and there you go disappears like magic so in order to adjust the exposure for this image you can do it so many ways by either going to the exposure and drop one stop or two stops or up one stop or two stops of light but usually what I do is I go by the default one and I just play with the sliders here. Actually, let's bring it down a little bit so we will have more shadow area. And then we will go to another thing that I really like is shadows and highlights. And you can play with the extreme soft, but let's click on the soft part and you can see that it already puts like minus 50% on shadows and plus 50% on highlights. So you can turn it on and off. And it's already looking good. You can see the highlights here on the water and you can see the shadows really pop. So this looks super, super nice. But let's I think it's too much on the shadow area. You can brighten the image or let's make it actually, I think around 20% should be suffice. And of course, this one being a layer, you can add a layer mask and you can apply this as a gradient. So if we do something like this, you can already see the difference and there you go let's drag in another image this time i'm going to drag a row image directly into affinity and you see that when i dragged the image i didn't drag it inside here because if i would have done so let me show you what happens so if you drag your image here affinity interprets that that you want to introduce it as a layer into your work area oh, that's not good let's delete this one and move to our develop persona and here you will usually have all these warning lights activated so you'll see an image looking something like this if you blown your highlights so you can activate these warnings by switching on and off the top layer so you can see that you have here the highlights you have the shadows and also the clipped tones 
let's get rid of these ones first we can go to shadows and highlights and move the highlights to your left here using the sliders of the highlights and then we can adjust the shadows as well we want this tree to be a silhouette mostly so we can go shadows something like this the image looks a little washed up so let's add in some saturation around 10 to 15 percent no more and a little bit of vibrance but need to be careful with vibrance not to over exaggerate although i think 20 percent is looking properly 20 percent is looking good so we, we already can see some difference if you want to see before and after you toggle the switches here so this will create a slider and you can see like before after or you just click this one and it will put the two of them side by side so if you've done your edits here and you want to apply um, the same edit to the other images you can save this as a preset so add as preset here and you fill it a name and then will pop on here so i already have two presets that i've done with this image you have moody night one and moody night two you can see this is more darker so let me turn off the warnings you can see it has more um, let's say mystery you can see one you can see them side by side i think this darker image looks better what do you say? And I think that's about it, to be honest. Um, it's a simple tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Leave a comment below with your questions or suggestions. And if you are not subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified when I'm uploading new videos. Until next time, my name is Alex and take care.